Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell, and this is the campaign map for From the Depths. And uh, we are back in the campaign after our Atlantis did a nice job of uh, massive amounts of missiles and DACA to take out as many ships as possible. And it's heading for this 368, uh, which should be a interesting fight. It may have a few small fights on the way, just um, as that is its... Um, as they send some groups into what they call um, attack the Ursipa, I think they class it as uh, to try, you know basically some some fleets are coming in um, yeah forming up for battle against local combatants so they're they're having a go us and the same up here there's some more ones coming here so he'll have a bit of a mission left with him but what we're going to do now is we're going back to the Aquinauts and I have brought our new missile ship in game uh, I've renamed it actually, after looking at the looks of it, I've renamed it to the killer, the killer Sea Slug rather than the Killer Whale. It's not really nice enough shape to be called a Killer Whale, so it's now to be called the Killer Sea Slug. So um, he's going in to join up with the um, Aquanautic fleet here and the, uh, uh, the ships that are, are members of that team. Uh, where are we? The, Levi the Leviathan. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the killer sea slug first. We're going to run along in, in uh, on board it, and then we'll bring in the leviathan just on his own as well. Uh, so what have we got here actually? What what ships have we got? We might do this just just with the killer sea slug. Actually, we've got a Strausland, a stockade, and an angler. Okay, I'm I'm just going to use the, just the killer sea slug, slug on this, um, just to see what it's like to make sure it functions properly in um, this environment okay that should be fine what we're going to do is now go down onto the ship because I like to give my um, ships where a possibility give them the chance to have uh, some time underwater before the battle and I'll do this in general with with my subs there we are we are on board and heading in so yes that that shape is more killer sea slug than uh, killer whale i've got to say uh, so anyway he's heading in to the attack and we should hopefully get a um, spawn in soon to be honest it's, it's a um, sailing ship a couple of sailing ships and and uh, one stockade but honestly if this killer whale which took 10 minutes to spawn in by the way from the atlantis if this doesn't defeat these then basically it doesn't deserve to, to join the fleet so uh, let's just wait for these to come in so it's a good little ship if we met if remember uh, we went through the builds have a look through the build videos basically it's designed to kill big ships um, with lots and lots of missiles now i haven't oh battle's begun i haven't cured the slight rearward bias to the ship at the moment so there we got that's the mast uh barrage and we have this stockade and angler in first so let's see what this does it's not worth looking at the um uh sea slug straight first because he's under the water you won't see very much right these are coming in they're splitting up quite nicely because they're going for different targets all over they are tending to to split up quite nicely some did go for the angler and some went for this some of them for some reason liked that angler more so the angler is dead one salvo that's all it took now we have the extended missile span these are all the laser guided uh, missile spam shots coming in it's a, a nice set of missiles by the looks of that there with another set of random block missiles and these are all targeted by laser so they're going for something very nice down here I guess yes there's something at the very very bottom of this ship I'm guessing um, what's right down at the bottom here is it, is it the engine and, and the origin block is it the engine they're going for I guess it must be the engine these are aiming at Although it looks like it's mainly going straight through the center, through the middle. Yes. Um, see, that's just like continuous missiles coming in, all with 
quite a significant number of warheads. Ammo is fine. That looks okay to me. Engine power is a little low, but um, well within usable uh, sort of range. We have still more missiles coming in. Another uh, mass missile barrage. I quite like this mass miss missile a lot. Barrage, the way it comes in. Against the LAM system, I think that would be quite effective, actually. Uh, although, then again, this, consist this continuous stream of missiles coming in would also be very effective against any sort of LAM system. They are a little close, um, which... But they're, so the Hades could set each other off, but I don't think that's a big problem. These are separated enough that I don't think any one shot. So that's obviously just the random hits, which does enough damage, I think, and they're, they're small enough and consistent enough that it will just keep firing these in. Oh, and don't forget, we have torpedoes as well coming in. Some very large torpedoes. So, okay, that didn't take too long. That's a, a definitive um, yes. So we'll it will be uh, we'll see it against the Strawsland. I think the Strawsland is a it might be an armoured sailing ship, but I'm sure it's a sailing ship. I quite like that. It's, it's like there's like uh, un, almost like unguided rockets, like the way they go up and then come down quite nicely. It's it's uh, very good. What range are we at at the moment? That's 700. Yeah, 700. It, it 700 meters. It's killing things. We'll just go and have a quick check see if it turned sideways onto the target. Oh, there's more missiles firing up. Like we needed more. What have we got here? Yes, it's gone side on, which is fine. Yeah, it's tipping a little. Well, that's not a big problem. Not going too much, but it's still got slightly rear end heavy, a uh, rear end light um, up there. I might have a look at that a little bit. But basically, Two damage, excellent. Okay, bring in, bring on the the Strawsland. Let's see you do your worst. Missiles, more missiles, just for overkill, just in case, uh, just to speed up his own disintegration. We're sending some more missiles in. Oh, those ones have gone ballistics. The laser does stop targeting these, so they've just gone straight up into the air. So they're a little bit wasted. Although if the ship comes in, the laser will reacquire and those uh, ships will, these missiles will retarget. So potentially, there we go. And have they retargeted? Let's have a look. They might be too far away now. They might turn in. It's difficult to say, actually. But okay, so we got a Strawsland, which, um, yes, is uh, doesn't feel the pain. He's obviously quite a few blocks. Uh, it's one of those you don't want to be side on to him type ships. Uh, definitely. Uh, there's a lot of custom cannons there. Would be very effective. Would be nice to have a campaign where you can only have sales. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's working on a custom campaign and a way of limiting, in that, limiting it in that way. So it's all about sailing ships. That'd be um, an interesting campaign. Small sailing ships, although, you know, I still think there'd be high block counts. But... Okay, that's looking good. And there we've got some very large torpedoes coming in as well, just to add insult to injury. Um, yes, that's uh, some significant boomage. With those uh, cutting style uh, torpedoes. And there's the main uh, torpedo uh, influx now starting to come in. I think the other ones must have gone totally ballistic, so uh, it was a little bit too early. Um, yes. So that's random hits and just taking blocks off left, right and centre. Excellent. Whilst we get the highly targeted ones are uh, just coming in very nicely. Yes. Causing big boom. 
Uh, yes, totally unfair. It was a sailing ship. Very nice sailing ship, Strausland. Looks very nice. It's just I feel possibly a little overwhelming or overwhelmed. At this stage of the uh, uh, campaign, where people are going to have, uh, well, you would expect them to have fairly reasonable ships. Um, you know, custom cannons, maybe even lasers for some people, but as you can tell, lots of missiles. Uh, and he is sinking. Okay, so that's a, a, a quick little um, battle, just to prove that the killer whale has got what it takes. So we're now going to join up with the rest of the Atlantic fleet and whilst it's on its way there what I will do offline is just try and balance up the rear a little bit just add a few blocks see if I can make the rear of the ship just try and um, go down a little bit more level uh, I don't like it being up that high it's okay but um, certainly would prefer it to be uh, more central. It's, it's stopped leaning about, which is good. Um, not too worried about the lean. I'm more worried about that. Um, well, I am worried about the lean for a bit because it's going to open up all of our lower area of this hull. So I do need to have a look at that as well, actually. But it's when it's turning away from the enemy. Um, when he starts turning back again, he turns the opposite direction, which is fine. So, anyway, uh, that battle's just about over. There's nothing else to come in, so I will do the block changes. And welcome back. And, uh, yeah, I cured the, uh, the tail at the rear uh, being a little high with simply using some aerial technique of just putting a tail on it. Effectively, putting some hydrofoils on the back with some control blocks that uh, just point some hydrofoils up and down depending if the uh, tail is a little too high or low. So that seemed to uh, cure that problem. I put a little weight in there as well which balanced it a bit better but the hydrofoils just force it in uh, to keeping that level attitude so that's good. I didn't change the roll characteristic at this moment. Um, we'll see how it does against some foes. Right so let's move up this fleet now into this 147 and um, see what sort of target they're going to give us. Now I'm going to do the idea of um, f uh, going in with our two ships. As you see there, uh, we've got a blockade there on our uh, Atlantis, which we'll look at, at when we uh, start taking the Atlantis on again. Ooh, a few stutters here, but uh, okay, so let's just have a check what we've got coming in and uh, see if it's a, wor a worthy fight. Stalwart, a warden, stockade, pinnacle, glaive. Nothing really that problematic. So this will just be a quick test. Almost we might just go through this fairly quickly. This will just be a quick test to make sure that the troops work together well. If I'm, I'm going to go on to the, the Leviathan for uh, this. Um, Oh, well obviously under the water. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we'll go back to the map. And once they're a little closer, I will spawn in the two main ships before, but before they get into battle mode, just there. Right, now this will make sure that they actually will both be in battle. That is one. Hopefully loading in, there we go, and then we'll find the killer whale, which is, where's the killer whale? I saw it here a second ago, killer, killer slug, sorry, the killer slug there. So they're both now in, which is going to give us basically a silly points advantage, basically here. Uh, for any battle we've got, we've got two massive ships ready to do battle. Uh, for when they come in. So um, I will just let this go forward until we are ready for combat. Um, and when they come forward, we will see how our ships do. They should do very well. Let's just make sure that everything is on. Oh, no, he's not on combat. That's a bit better. Let's put them all on the... Oh no, he's, he's off because he's still diving. 
um, he will turn his engines on into combat mode once he has got the required depth. I remember that now. That was something I added in there to ensure that it, it wouldn't start closing with the enemy until it sunk enough. Um, so, okay, we'll let that go on and hopefully they will make their way forward as soon as possible. And they have spawned their first ships in, which looks like the Warden and the Stalwart. So that's uh, a couple of their larger ships at the very beginnings. Points-wise, uh, yeah, we've got a point advantage. I'm not unsurprised at that, to be frankly honest. We've got missiles firing from there, and we have our own missiles firing as well already. Now, one interesting thing that's going to make this a little bit more interesting is the water around here is not that deep. There is some um, protrusions. You can see already that the, the uh, Leviathan is, is heading upwards to avoid uh, some of the water area. All right, where's the killer slug? We can see the killer slug is over there, also starting to fire, I'm guessing. He certainly fired his... Uh, torpedoes I'm reckoning come on get over there he's over here somewhere there we are oh he's actually doing a turn well this is going to be interesting obviously he was going too fast and had to turn for the leviathan and now he's um, hmm, that's going to be interesting for it uh, we'll see how that works out. He is not where I expected him to be. But uh, we'll see how this, this works in the end. The Leviathan seems to be doing quite happily at this moment, though. He's turning around, so that's fine. He is turning around and he's getting some uh, distance some depth by the looks of it let's get into him so we can see what his uh, settings are so yeah 4,000 is perfectly fine altitude is fine yeah let's just see make sure I haven't uh, mucked up on this rear section mm, maybe they're going the wrong way around actually in this particular case they should be oh no no they are they should be trying to force the rear down in this particular case that's what we should be doing you can see all those hydrofoils on the back that i put there which are basically dragging that dam we'll, we'll leave this one to, to his to to his own fate and we will go back to the leviathan which seems to be handling all of this on his own anyway so let's just watch, I'll get myself into position, and then we'll just see this battle unfold.
there it looks like we have a glaive has come in as well so that's a, a double set of um, anti-missile lasers uh, being put against us so this will be a good test for our anti um, our massed missile systems see if they can get through the laser the uh, systems here And now we have a stalwart. It's a bit um, dark at the moment. It's like fireworks out there um, with all these missiles coming in. But the stalwart is now the target for all these missiles.
Excellent, and our little fleets uh, proved themselves in that, la that little battle, I feel. Um, they're quite both without injury, um, and cleared out for another area. Uh, quite significant damage they out were outputting there during those attacks. Very, uh, very good. Um, a little slow, the sheer number of missiles, and I think blocks. We've got quite a few blocks there in those two ships but they worked well right what i'm going to do now is um we'll put those ones up that's proven that these ship work i'm going to send the aquanaut fleet up into this 179 clear out that one then i think we will next episode we'll look at um we've got this resource zone i think out it came out of that resource zone to attack here I think yeah 344 and 167 we've got a massive number of fleets here this is a massive fleet um, bulwark stockade warden you know it's, uh, some serious size ships here another bulwark um, we might have to combine well we'll just see how the aerial fleet does against these guys there they are uh, damaged though not all of our our ships are a hundred percent which is a bit of a problem uh, most of them are okay actually looking at it it's not that bad I think we can get away with away as such you know um, yeah a few where's, where's the condor fleet? I can't seem to get the condors where's the condors no Anyway, we'll, we'll have, a, have a look at that this, this particular fleet next then. Uh, I know we have got the, the uh, replacement for the PT Turtle, uh, the new um, heavy cruiser to cut, being brought in as well. We haven't, didn't have anything for the uh, um, air, avian fleet that was new, so but that's not really a problem. And I'm looking at it, the avian fleet is going to have to take this 125 out. So we'll have a look. We might bring the turtle fleet down in to take out this one and bring in the new, uh, let the Atlantis 
take out this here, spawn the new ship for the PT Turtles, and let them go in against this rather large fleet here, um, just to, you know, um, take out this, this group and get the avians in to take out the fleet at the top and this landlocked one here. Um, yeah, that sounds like a good, that sounds like a plan. Um, so, in 